In this clip from ITV1's Lost Treasures program, Mike Lodes explains how Vikings were armed and how they were squared up against the Saxons at the Battle of Brunebrook. The Saxon army of King Athelstan and the mostly Viking alliance of King Olaf were very similar type of troops. By the 10th century, the male Bernie has become bigger. It's become what's known as the Hoburg, and it's got a male coif giving extra protection to the head. It's got the avantail, which is this extra bit of mail here, either to give reinforcement to the chest or to be worn to protect the throat. Both armies are still fighting with shields, fighting in the shield wall, and they're using swords, and they're using spears. Whoa! There's a number of ways you can get through that. One way is they devised all sorts of tactics. They could do a thing called the Svinfilking, which is the boar snout. So you would get a wedge of men coming into a snout to punch right through and make a hole in the enemy lines. Or if they were outnumbered, you would get the forceps where they would try and encircle and outflank. But another way of doing it was to send out a blood squad with their great Dane axes. It's an extraordinarily versatile weapon that can be used with great fluidity. The Battle of Brunnenberg was fought relentlessly for nearly 10 miles across.